So do you also use gravity forms for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. And in this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp message on gravity form submission using AI Sensei. So we're here, I'm running an edutech company and we use gravity forms to get the registrations of the events which we conduct regularly. So now what I want is that as soon as a new form submission is made in my gravity forms, automatically an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to my participant who registered for the event. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between Gravity Forms and AI Sensei. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that in this tutorial, I'll show you how to send WhatsApp messages automatically whenever someone submits a gravity form using AI Sensei. So yes, this integration helps us to instantly engage with our customers by sending personalized WhatsApp messages, updates or follow up directly to WhatsApp. It's a perfect solution for improving communication and boosting engagement. So let's get started with a really simple example. So yes, over here you can see the form which is the event registration form right so let's suppose that someone is registering for an event okay so i'm going to enter the details and register for this event right over here and as you can see that someone has successfully registered for this event okay so now what has happened is that an automated whatsapp message has been sent to this participant who registered for the event okay so i'm going to open my whatsapp and as you can see that this is the automated whatsapp message which we have sent to the participant so yes we have simply created this automation by connecting our gravity forms account with our whatsapp which is by using AI Sensei. So yes, if you also wish to learn about this amazing automation step by step, you have to watch this complete tutorial, right? And in order to create this connection, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we're going to open the landing page of Pabli, we're going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But over here, I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in and as soon as we going to click on sign in it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications which is gravity forms and whatsapp so I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and as soon as we going to click on access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with this automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So over here, I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations. And on my dashboard, you can see multiple folders which I've already created in which I save my workflows. So if you wish to learn how to create a new folder or a subfolder, you can click on this hyperlink given right over here which says learn more. And now it is asking for the workflow name. So I want the workflow name to be how to send WhatsApp message on Gravity Forms submission using AI Sensei. Gravity Forms to WhatsApp. And then we are going to click on create. And as as we're going to click on create it is opening the most important window for automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window for automation because we have triggered an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can finally understand that the actions are response to the commands given by our trigger and in order to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select it as gravity forms so i'm going to search for gravity forms right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to select it as our trigger application and now after selecting the trigger application we are going to move on towards the trigger event so basically trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so we have what i want is that as soon as a new response is captured my workflow should be triggered or started right so i'm going to select the same as my trigger event and as soon as we're going to select the trigger event it is giving me a webhook url so what we're going to do is we are going to use the same webhook url in order to create a connection between our gravity forms and our pabli's workflow so what we're going to do is i'm just going to copy this webhook url right from here and then we're going to follow this help text and it is saying to do so go to your form settings and click on webhooks tab then click on the add new button then add the webhook url in the request url field okay so yes i'm going to follow the same i'm going to open my 
my forms right from here and as you can see over here are all the gravity forms which i've already created but i'm going to create this automation for this which is event registration form so i'm just going to open this right from here and click on edit and as i'm going to click on edit yes you can see that this is my form okay so what we have to do is we have to go on this settings right from here and we're going to look for webhooks and as you can see webhooks we have to go on this and as i'm going to go on this webhook yes so you can see we have redirected to this webhook feeds and now what we have to do is we have to click on this button which says add new and as soon as we going to click on add new it is asking me for the name of the webhook okay so i'm going to keep the name as let's suppose whatsapp and now after adding this name we are going to paste the url which we copied from our workflow in the request url field okay we are going to move on forward for the request method i'm going to keep it as post over here for the request format i'm going to keep it as json we're going to move on forward and click on this button which says save setting and as soon as we going to click on the save settings you can see settings updated so yes with this we have successfully added this webhook url in our form and now with this we have successfully created a connection between our gravity forms and our pablis workflow so here you can see that it is saying waiting for a webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission or record so in order to do this what we are going to do is i'm going to open my form once again okay for that i'm going to go on forms again right over here we're going to look for the form which we connected right now with our workflow which is this event registration form right so i'm going to click on this preview right over here and we're going to do another test submission with the new details so for the first name this time i'm going to keep it as dummy last name user for the email i'm going to keep it as this this is the confirm email this is the phone number for the address i'm going to keep it as this and click on next and as i'm going to click on next for the gender i'm going to keep it as female let's say age as this it is saying how did you hear about this event i'm going to keep it as google and click on next once again we are going to enter the card details and complete this purchase so i'm going to enter the security code and click on submit and as soon as we going to click on submit yes you can see thank you for testing our form so yes with this we have successfully tested this form which is we have successfully did the test submission and now what has happened is that gravity form has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow so i'm going to open my workflow and check that if pabli has captured the response and yes you can see that pabli has captured the response over here you can see all the details which we entered right you can see the email you can see the phone number over here you can see the event how did you hear about this event right over here you can see the gender the age we are going to move on forward and as you can see the address first name and last name so yes with this we have successfully received all the details which we entered in our test submission as our response and as soon as going to receive these details with this we have successfully created a connection between our gravity forms and our pablis workflow and with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as the new form response is captured automatically my workflow will be triggered and pablis is going to capture the response for the same okay so let's move forward now what i want is i want to send an automated whatsapp message on gravity form submission right so for the action application we are going to select it as ai sensi so we're here in order to send automated whatsapp messages i'm going to use ai sensi you can use any another application of your choice you can use vati or if you wish you can definitely use whatsapp cloud api too so i'm going to search for my action application which is ai sensi and then we are going to select it and as i'm going to select the action application it is going to ask me for the action event so for my action event i'm going to select it as send template message and click on this button which says connect and as i'm going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected a whatsapp by ai sensi account with your pablis workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for this api key and to get this api key it is saying to obtain the api key log into your ai sensi account again navigate to the manage section then go to the api key and click on the generate api key button so yes i'm going to follow the same i'm going to open my ai sensi account and now from the left side of the bar we have to go on manage and after coming on this manage you can see api key right over here so i'm going to go on this api key as you can see that this is my api key so i'm just going to copy this api key and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this api key i'm going to click on this blue button which says save and as soon as we're going to click on save over here you can see connected so yes with this we have successfully connected our whatsapp by ai sensi account with our pablis workflow and now it is asking me for this which is campaign name and to let you know about this campaign name again i'm going to open my ai sensi account from the left side of the bar you can see campaigns we are going to go on this and yes you can see all the campaigns which i have already created right so in order to create a campaign you first have to create a template right over here so you can see that i've already created a template too which is event registration right over here i'm just going to show you the template yes over here you can see that this is my template which is event registration okay so i've already created this so if you wish to create a new template you can click on this button which says new and create your own okay and now what else i have done is i've created a new 
campaign with the same template which is event registration you can see that this is my campaign okay so if you wish to create a new campaign you can go on this launch button then you have to select this api campaign give your campaign a name select the same template right over here and click on this set live okay so i've already created a campaign so i'm going to open this as you can see that this is my campaign and this is my template okay and as you can see that this is my campaign name so just i'm going to copy this campaign name right from here and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this campaign name we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the mobile number so we have what we are going to do is i'm going to enter the mobile number of the user i want to send the message to okay so we're here in this case i want to send the message to the one who submitted the event registration form which is the participant of my event so okay i've received the details of the mobile number right over here in this response of gravity forms so i'm going to enter the same mobile number in this asnc step 2 but we are not going to copy paste the mobile number or enter it manually but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping right so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step we selected gravity forms as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we're going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so with here i'm going to give you an example that it is asking me for the mobile number right so let's suppose we're going to enter the mobile number right over here manually by simply typing it like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if you're going to map this from the previous response suppose i'm going to look for mobile number in the previous response and as you can see the same so let's suppose we're going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for the username it is saying enter the name of the user to whom the campaign has to be sent so we have we're going to map the name of our participant okay i'm going to look for name right over here in the previous response and as you can see first name we are going to map it with a space and then we're going to map the last name and as you can see the same so we're going to map it and after mapping the username we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the source and tags so as you can see both of these are now the required fields so i'm going to leave it as blank and move on towards the template parameter and now it is asking me for the template parameter and to let you know about this template parameter i'm going to open my asnc account again and as you can see that this is the template which i've created right but you can notice that there's one in curly brackets right over here so you must be wondering why this one is in curly brackets so what i want is i want to replace this one with the name of my participant every time i send an automated whatsapp message that's why i've put this one as a variable right over here so what i want is i am going to map this value of one right over here in the workflow so for the template parameter we are going to map the value of one which is the name of the participant right so i'm going to look for the name of the participant and as you can see first name we are going to map it and then we're going to map the last name too as you can see the same so we're going to map it and after mapping this we are going to move on forward you can notice that it is saying the template parameter value should be comma separated so here i have only a single template parameter that's why i've mapped the one but if you have multiple template parameters in your template you have to enter the value in comma separated okay so we're going to move on forward it is asking me for many another details so as you can see all of these are not the required details i'm going to leave it as blank and click on this button which says save and send as request but before clicking on this button i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the message received so i'm just going to replace this number and then we're going to click on this button which says save and send as request so yes i've replaced the number and as soon as we clicked on this button which says save and send as request yes you can see that we have successfully received a positive response over here it says that we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message to the same details which is dummy user so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the new message received and yes you can see that we have successfully received another new whatsapp message which says awesome news dummy user you are all set for our event which is powered off automation so yes you can see that we have successfully sent an automated confirmation message to our new participant which was dummy user so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so what we're going to do is i'm going to open my forms again again we're going to click on this preview and we're going to do another test submission with the new details this time to check if our workflow is running in real time or not so i'm just going to open my form right over here and yes you can see that this is the event registration form so i'm going to do the test submission for the name i'm going to keep it as test over here you can see the last name you can see the email you can see the address we are going to enter the phone number as this we're going to move on forward click on next right over here for the gender i'm going to select it as male age as this for how did you hear about this event i'm going to select it as this click on next and then we are going to purchase this right for that i'm going to enter the card details we're going to enter the security code and click on submit and as soon as we're going to click on submit
submit yes you can see that we have successfully submitted this form and now what has happened is that gravity form has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow publicly captured the response triggered the workflow and further sent an automated whatsapp message to test user so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the new message sent and this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on see and send test request i'll directly open my whatsapp and check for the new message okay so i'm going to open my whatsapp and yes you can see that we have successfully received another whatsapp message right over here which says awesome news test user you are all set for the power of automation event so yes you can see that with this we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message to test user to write so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected gravity forms for the trigger event we selected new response for the action application we selected whatsapp by asnc and then for the action event we selected send template message because i wanted that as soon as the new event registration form is submitted in my gravity forms automatically an automated confirmation message should be sent to my participant and yes we were successful with our workflow over here you can see the two messages i sent during this video with the help of my workflow so yes this was it for the video and now if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just loan this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching so not only these applications but with the help of pabli connect you can integrate many more applications so if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching